Welcome back guys, Mel here from Mel's Motors. Uh, this is part two of my Aprilia Bits and Bobs upgrade. It's a year later. Why well, it's taken me a year? Uh, well, last year, when it's the bike season, these ramps are flat out, they work it all the time. We're doing crazy hours, uh, normally here 10 to 12 hours a day. So it is constantly busy. I'm here every Saturday. And last, well, August, I, I did a Wales trip on it. Uh, and then September, horrendous weather. I'm in a bike club, ended up driving there for the club meet. Uh, November, drove there. Uh, December, actually managed to ride there. And then January, February, March, again, crap weather. Uh, April, managed to get there. Um, and last weekend, I was at Anglesey and my track bike broke down. Now, my track bike is supposed to be loaded onto a lorry next weekend uh this is currently we were in may 2024 so last week was the last weekend of uh, april uh, 24. so so this is the following week first weekend of may bank holiday weekend next weekend that track bike was supposed to be going to spain it broke down big time um thankfully hadn't written the carne up so otherwise uh, that would have had to go broken down and then come back so my hand has been forced I have to put this one on track so I need a lot of prep work uh, a few bits and pieces we're going to go through the video uh, so sorry, sorry it's taking a year to get part two done so we're going to try and do rear set today change the rear sprocket um, a few other bits and pieces get it track ready mirrors off uh, the rear number plate off and bits and pieces so stick around and we'll see what we're going to do today so here's some of the bits we got so last year i spoke to you about these rear sets that we bought uh they're no brand they're uh, an aliexpress jobby um we're going to see how these work out um also got this for the gear selector it's uh it's a little stabilizer bearing uh, the head bearings have gone on this, uh, they went last year, that was one of the other jobs that I was meaning to do last year, but it took me two months to get the bearings, nobody had them in stock, uh, hence again why the delay for this video, because I lost some time over the summer waiting for those to come in. Um, I've also got the rear calendar to go on, so the seat's coming off, also got performance air filter. Uh, I couldn't remember the last video, I thought I'd fitted that, but uh, obviously I didn't. Uh, we did a remap last time, uh, that was supposed to complement the remap, but um, uh, I'll try and put that in today. Right, all the rear set bits. Now, this is going to be quite a challenge to get this uh, fitted. Um, I'll show you in a bit why. Uh, but these are the bits. Uh, from my experience with some of these Chinese stuff, uh, my Aprilia RS V1000R upstairs has got Chinese um, rear sets. They were from Dan Moto. I don't think they're around anymore. Never had any issues with it. Um, I dropped it at Castle Coombe many years ago. Uh, it went down. Nothing broke. Uh, it bent the rear set um, as it went down. Uh, I had a crash mushroom as well. And those RS V1000Rs have got two exhausts on it. I've got uh, Acropovix on there. Saved it, didn't put a mark on it. Uh, the thing is with the standard footrests, is they're spring loaded, as once the bike goes down, they fold back, so it does a lot of damage. Uh, these, when they go down, they act as uh, a crash mushroom. But um, I said, from the one I fit to the other Aprilia, make sure you lock tight all your bolts, because they do like to come loose. Uh, not sure about any other uh, makes or brands, but the, the ones you get from China, they're, they're built reasonably well. Um, but make sure you lock tight the bolts, uh, otherwise they'll just start to come loose. Uh, my son bought this for me last Christmas, well, Christmas before. So I've had this for over a year. This is um, uh, the rear seat replacement for the, for the back. And I've got a um, performance air filter. Uh, fresh grips to go on as well. Uh, the reason I'm changing those is because it's got heated grips on it. Because it was a road bike, um, they're on there. I'm just going to show you the bike quickly. 
Uh, okay, so Oxford Heated Grips. I'll just I'll turn it off. Uh, sat nav, that's got to come off. Mirror's got to come off. Uh, rear seat comes off. Uh, rear indicators, rear foot rests. Um, the rear sets, uh, they're held in through the rear swinging arm bolt. So once you take that out, the suspension will drop. I've got some new suspension coming for it as well. This the suspension on this is fantastic for road, but absolutely atrocious for track. It's far too soft. Uh, no adjustability. The adjusting screw for this is all the way up here. So what you've got to do is strip off your bike, adjust, put it all back together, go test. That will pain in the backside. So I've got Nitron come in. All the adjustments will be on the side. Uh, what else we got this? Oh, uh, I'm going to put a rear sprocket on it. I've got some new um, Aprilia branded bobbins. Uh, and the rest is okay. Uh, not overly keen with this uh, mass cylinder. It doesn't get a lot of feel from it. Um, I'm going to try it for now. But if I get any issues with that, I'm going to swap that out with the Akasotti one that I bought um, for the Jigsaw. Uh, that is fantastic mass cylinder that makes the brakes, or turns them into anchors. They're absolutely fantastic. So, uh, air filter to go in. This is for a tank bag. It's going to come off. Don't need that. And uh, we're going to start with what we're going to start with. Probably start assembling the rear sets and move forward from there. All right, this is what we're going to do with the rear sets. Um, the frame, swinging arm, engine setup on this is different to all other bikes. These are Aprilia's, use the engine as a substructure. Top frame comes bolts to the engine, swinging arm bolts to the engine. Uh, most bikes will have the frame that will come all the way down, everything bolts to the frame. So to change these rear sets, I've got to take the swinging arm bolt out. If I take the swinging arm bolt out, suspension will drop. I've got a bolt, similar size, so once I undo the nut, I'm going to put this through, keep this side stable, pull the bolt out, start from the other side, and then come back, pull this out to get the rest of it off. Um, I'm not going to assemble the, the rear sets, this is how they came, so I'm going to fit one, uh, whilst it's on there, I'll take the bolts out individually, I'll lock tighten them. Uh, to be fair, looking at this, this is already set up for, this, for a similar position. Um, to be fair, it's quite comfy where it is. I'll leave it as that. Uh, and when I get to Almeria, if, if I feel I need to change it, then we'll have the opportunity to do that. Um, I'm just going to take this linkage off here so we don't, um, uh, it, so it doesn't get in our way. Uh, it's 8mm spanner. Uh, undo it from the, the, the gear lever itself. So this, this gear lever bolts on the outside, this one will bolt on the inside because it's got uh, it's got an offset. Um, this is Loctited, I can see the blue Loctite on there so we'll make sure we Loctite that back in. Uh, this is set up as standard gearing, it's not set up as um, track where it's one up five down I like it as standard um, I'm pretty sure you can swap these out to work backwards uh, swing these over um, I think you have to go into the settings and just change it to uh, race shift uh, not done it not interested but uh, I think you can do that uh, I've had a look at the chain um, chain's pretty naff just ordered one I've already got a rear sprocket I've ordered a front sprocket uh, while I was there, I've ordered some new EBC uh, front race pads. So I'm going to upgrade that while we're here. Um, yeah, I didn't realise the chain was that bad. Uh, I did Tuxton on it uh, a few weeks ago. I was coaching there. Um, you can't do track days at Tuxton. It's, it's only coaching. So I, um, I coach advanced riding there. So I get the opportunity to be there quite often. So I'm um, there at least once a month. Uh, when the season starts so uh, we're in May so I'll be there in two weeks coaching and then I'll fly out to Almeria. Now that this is going to Almeria I'm gonna to have to um, <laughs> pick another bike to coach with but I'll come to that when the, when the, when the time's there so um, okay so we're gonna start with this big 
bolt, not sure what size that is, looks about 24, so I'll go get a socket and we'll, uh, we'll gun that off. Okay, that's quite stiff. Before I pull it out, I think I'm going to strap these bars down. So if it goes a bit wonky, I'm, at least the bike's stable. Okay, bike is secure. Uh, I haven't overly strapped it, just enough to keep the bike stable. Um, the bolt I put in is only halfway in, because it's just the only bolt I had. Um, I'm just going to push the bike away from me, just take the pressure off this, and hopefully it should come out. Okay, a bit rusty, we'll clean that up before it goes on. Right, master them, they're off, and then we'll get uh, the, this rear set off. A little clip here for a pin. So you pop the clip off, pull the pin out. So that releases from the lever. Okay, 13 at the bottom. one brake switch. Now if you tend to listen to a track bike don't be fooled into thinking you don't need this for your brake lights. Um, <laughs> the ABS system needs to know if your foot's on the brake before it can, it can help you. Uh, yeah so make sure this goes back uh, both front and rear. If brake switches don't work the, the bike um, will see that they're not working and won't activate the brake um, ABS uh, system. So make sure that goes back on. Okay, so my mate Steve's behind the camera. Um, we just had a quick look together and it looks like this bolt's here. Now that I've got the lever, it makes more sense. Um, so it, it goes here. Um, <laughs> the weird thing was this, this was facing the wrong way, but it's loose. Uh, so it's, switch sits here and as the pedal goes down like this, um, it activates the switch. So I need to fit the switch first, and it looks like the mast cylinder bolts in backwards. Uh, the way the rear set's bolted in, I can't get to the back bolt, so we're going to have to go up uh, one slot, and I'll do the same on the other side, uh, and that way we get the mast cylinder back in. I'll go adjust that uh, over there, I'll put some Loctite in, let's come back, and then we'll start putting this back together. Right, let's get myself in a bit of a muddle here, trying to get this to work. Um, got to try and build it uh, here now. 
with a few bits and pieces we got the destructions here uh, I think trying to build some of this up there will be a bit of a nightmare so um, just going through I've got a measuring tape now because it's it tells you numbers and what size bolts are so I know this one goes through here and into here um, looks like through here but we need some washers to go here uh, but it's not calling one of these a washer number 28 says it's a, a, a rondella it's new to me rondella if you guys know what it is let me know at the bottom but I've only got one washer it's showing me three here so out of this kit um, I can't even match the pictures up Never look in the box. Uh, okay, nothing in the box. Um, so I've only got one washer, one bolt. It's quite odd because um, we've got a stepped footrest, so you assume something would go around there. Right. Have you ever heard of a rondella? Rondella. Rondella. I think they've made a word up on there. Where did this come from? So, so, this, so this is the, the footrest. Yep. So this cap goes on it. Yeah, the cap's straight in the bin. But the yeah, only washer I've got is this one. It's the only washer I've got. That looks a bit of a space or anything. Yeah, but by the looks of this, this bit sits in that gap. What is that one for? A bit bigger? Well, that, that. No, 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 it's not in there. So this sits, actually this sits in here. So maybe this stuff on the back of here is the... No, no, no this bush goes on the back, so we're already there. Uh, okay. So that sits there. And this sits on top. But then you need something to stop it from... Yeah, which is that bush. But there's, there are no other... There are no other... Weird. It's just <laughs> things that come from forward. Never trust the pictures. Oh wait, what am I sending a plate away for? Well, there's only one washer there, and that washer makes it too big. Not enough thread in there. But without the washer, we just barely get in the end of that um, bolt out. Don't forget, it's got to carry a weight, so... Right, going to go without... Tight. Right, so that's works. That's on a bearing, that's good. Uh, I'll try and knit this up. Okay, finally sussed it. The, the pictures are terrible. Um, yeah, the heel guard's all the way up here. I mean, you'd expect it to be around here somewhere, but uh, yeah, it's all the way up there. Um, everything seems to fit now. Uh, it's all tight, so, you know, locked tighted. Um, I put this bar in, but it was screwed all the way down. Um, I've got my mates at the back there just um, <laughs> putting the other side back together. Give me half a chance putting it, uh, putting it together. Um, so brake switch at the back um, I used the original screw that I took out but I needed to put a washer on the back to lock it because it was floating uh, so the brake switch works here uh, I just need to put uh, my bolt back in bolts cleaned put light grease on there um, hopefully that will <laughs> go in a bit easier than it came out
Where's the video? I don't know. I can't see. It looks like this. Actually, let me pull this out. Yeah, well, it needs to twist forward like that. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'll get the washer back. So if you want to line it up by eye now, and then I'll try to see if we can frank. That's it, that's it, that's it, yeah. We've got this other nut on the other side still. Plastic hammer there. Right, watch out, it's just going to come out the other side. Right up. Well, I think you... Okay, yeah, okay, good. Uh, let me have that bump. Piece of this. All done? Yep, all done. Did you, um, Lock tight all these four bolts at the front. Yes. Yeah. Okay, one side done. Time for the other side. away for two minutes and my rear foot rests have come off. I've sold him on eBay. Yeah. <laughs> Actually if anyone's watching needs a set of rear um, pegs, contact now. There you go. We're off a track next week, well the week after, so uh, we try and help each other out as much as we can try and get these uh, bikes done. But they all want to be superstars, hence why they're on my channel. <laughs> Okay, uh, done, the other side done, put rests off, training sprockets will be a Tuesday, uh, I can get probably this rear um, tail tidy off, um, I won't bother taking the chain off yet. Uh, Saturday, uh, we've spent so long faffing about today, uh, 20 to 4, still got MAT, Steve's van. So, I'll do that, we'll get back on this on Tuesday. Uh, guys don't want to stop, they want to keep going. <laughs> Have we a seat for you, mate? Looks like a 10 mil. Actually, that's not too bad. 
Watching, slide it down. I did that. There we go. It's like a racing bike. Okay, we were working on this on Saturday. Now it's Friday. I've done absolutely nothing all week. Been absolutely flat out with work. Um, this rear cover we put on, been absolute pig to get on and off. End up breaking one of the tabs. So kind of just coming off on track. So now we're going to take the the cushiony bit off with a few screws, see if we can anchor it so it fits backwards as opposed to fitting forwards. So we'll leave that for now. Uh, need to get the tank off, got performance air filter to go in, which I didn't manage to do last time. Sat nav off, heat grips off. Um, my suspension's here now, we'll open that up in a minute, I haven't looked at it yet. Uh, chain, sprockets, rear shock, fork inserts, Head bearings, mirrors off, uh, tank bag, clamp off, sat nav off. So still a fair bit to do. Uh, first things first, open up some new presents. Oh, there's a triple clamp going on as well. So that's turned up as well. So we'll have a look at that. Okay, unboxing. Who doesn't love an unboxing video? Right, so these are suspension. That This is the triple clamp turned up today. That's going to go on top. Uh, the thing with this bike, but be careful how low you go, because most sports bikes will have the the, the bars uh, under the triple clamp, like this one. But, but the bars will go low, so this one goes slightly high, but not as high as this one. So they will drop slightly, but because of the spare, and you can't go too low. And um, the clamps that go under the triple clamp, the bar clamps are very very slim compared to uh, most other bikes. Actually I've got an RSV4 here so I'll, I'll show you on that one. Right, so that's going to go on. Uh, this suspension came from Nitron, we're a Nitron dealer. Uh, so if you ever need anything from Nitron, let us know. We can get that for you. Well, this does, looks like rear shock, and this looks like the fork inserts. Uh, these are specific to my weight and to the spec that I ordered them to. Uh, they're set up for track. Okay, there's a reason why I'm smiling. <laughs> um, those of you who've seen in the past, uh, Nitron's colours are green. The springs normally come green. I didn't really want green to go with a black and uh, black and red bike. So I asked for titanium black if they had it for my weight, and they did. So uh, I'm chuffed it's not bright green. Although I do like the greens, I'm happy. So. Um, this is the adjuster that will sit on the side. Uh, the bracket kit for it. Um, the shocks you get on these Aprilias, they're great for road. They're abs it's an absolutely fantastic road bike. Uh, but when it comes to track riding, they're way too soft. Uh, they're made for comfort. Uh, and when they're set in like this, the adjuster's right at the top, uh, and you can't, you just can't get to it. You've got to take the back off, the seat off, the side off, get to the adjuster, uh, and then put all that together and see if it's any good. But this is on the side, which is fantastic. And 
then uh, the springs which match my weight. Uh, if you're ever going to buy upright springs, you always do it with full gear. Uh, leathers, boots, gloves, lid. So you want your total weight as you would be riding a bike. Um, I ride with an airbag vest, uh, but that would change into an airbag suit, but it would be similar weight. So more stuff. Uh, I've got track pads in there, so racing pads, uh, tennis pockets. I'm leaving it uh, standard gear in on this. Uh, being a twin, it doesn't rev as high as a, a four, uh, but it's got plenty of torque. So the standard gear in this is pretty good. Okay, my mate Steve's here to the help with Hinder. I don't know what he's going to do, obviously. Hinder. Yeah. <laughs> uh, going to start with because the triple clamps have got to come off to do the uh, head bearings and to mess about with the forks. Going to start from the back, so take all this off the tank off because I need to get to the air filter. That gives me more access to the triple clamps and then get my satin of off, heat grips off, get all that back to the, uh, to the battery off. Uh, and then we can we use an stand. I use an ABBA stand to try and <laughs> stabilize the bike so I can jack the front up tie the back down and get the front wheel and forks off. Okay, sat nav grips off. Um, it's a bit of a pain to undo loads of bits. It's cable tied it everywhere. I uh, just wanted to show you the shock absorber. Um, here's the adjuster. Right on top of the shock absorber. You can see where it's buried, but when we get to it, it's an absolutely stupid place to put it. And even when you take the, the side panel off, you've got to work your way through these uh, rows of hoses. Oh, I mean, you've got all that space down here, look. You are concerned about it? Eh! <laughs> okay, so we've moved on. Um, the This bar end isn't off yet, we're going to do that in a second. Uh, Abba stands in, so it's holding the bike up from the frame. Ratchet strap the back wheel down. Front is up. So now we can get the front wheel off. Um, brake calipers off. These beautiful reflectors can come off too. Uh, we can drop the forks out and do the head bearings. Uh, right, so we're doing the head bearings here. It's 
very difficult to demonstrate how bad these head bearings are. But they're literally just stopping centrally. See, they're stopping in the straight line. Okay, so that kind of explains that it's ball bearings. Ball bearings, because they sit on such a sharp point, um, they have a habit of uh, denting the race they sit in due to all the crappy roads that we ride on. Um, you can see there's a bit of rust in there as well. I, I do ride in most weathers, uh, that doesn't help. So the bearings I've got to replace this are tapered bearings. Uh, they tend to last a bit longer because they've got a longer surface area contact. Okay, so I'm going to go remove these and put the new bearings. Enjoy. Okay.